Hey everyone, welcome to The Farming Pastor's Wife. I am so glad you're here. If you're new here, my name is Leslie. I am The Farming Pastor's Wife and you are in my kitchen down here on the farm and we are super happy to have you. If you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do so and become a part of The Farming Pastor's Wife family. It is the greatest community out there. People pray for one another. It's just a super great family community to be a part of and I would love to have you. If you're back, welcome back. Guys, you know how much I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. Okay, today we're going to make a delicious supper. A delicious supper and I'm going to explain it when we come back but it's going to be a comforting yet easy one pot super good delicious meal. So don't go anywhere. Come back. I'll meet you back right here. I tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Okay, so I'm gonna get you guys slid back so you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. <clears throat> Alright. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and actually turn it on and I'm I'm in a hurry today, so I'm going to cook mine on high, but I would prefer to cook it on low. We'll come back and talk about this in just a minute. I want to get it going because time is of the essence. Um, so, I've got four frozen chicken breasts that I'm going in there with. I have one chopped onion. And I've already chopped it. And I'm going to chop up these potatoes. If you have one large russet potato, that would be great. I didn't. So I'm doing four little small Yukon goals. Um, so I'm going to chop these up and get them in. I'll bring you right back. All right, let's do a little seasoning up now. I'm going to go in with um, some salt. I got the potatoes in there. So we're going in with a little bit of salt. A lot of pepper because I love pepper with chicken. I don't know why, but I love to pepper up my chicken. All right. And we've got some poultry seasoning I'm going to go in here with. And that's got a little bit of sage and just good stuff coming in. I may need to uh, take the lid off. There we go. All right, so now let's put a little liquid in here. I've mixed up some chicken broth. If you have a can of chicken broth or um, a box of chicken broth, you just need a cup, maybe a little more than a cup. But I had some chicken base, so I've just mixed that with water. And so we're gonna pour that in here. Got a lot of chicken base in there. All right, and now we're going to go in with a can of cream of mushroom and a can of cream of chicken. This is the cream of chicken, and I just get off-brand stuff. Um, I can make my own. In fact, I was going to show y'all how to make it. This is just such a convenience food for me, is the canned. And if you buy off-brand, it's fairly inexpensive. Um, so... I'm not sure I can make it as cheap as I can buy it, so maybe I haven't I haven't ever figured it out. I haven't tried to do the math on it. But we're gonna dump this in here. And we're just gonna get this going. We've got more stuff to add, 
and this is going to be so good. So stay tuned. I'm going to come back and share with you kind of my theme for this week, and um, yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm glad you're back. Um, I am got that going. I've got it on high because I'm in a hurry. Um, I want to be able to get this video done and out to you guys. Plus, I have my quilting thing to go to tonight. So, uh, I wanted to get this done. So, it's on high. But you could, my preference would be to cook it on low for about six to eight hours. That would be my preference. Uh, probably six is perfect. Um, but I'm going to go on high for four hours and we have more stuff to add to this so don't think we're done because we have more stuff to go in here and uh, I'm super excited about this dish I think it's gonna be wonderful so anyway let me tell you my idea I have really if you've noticed a couple weeks ago I did the theme of Easter desserts trying out new Easter desserts and then I did a theme of breakfast freezer meals. I It has helped me tremendously to have a theme for the week. So, um, it's getting kind of warm outside. It's not super warm today, but it's starting to get warmer. And I, that means that summer is right around the corner. That means spring is right around the corner. That means I'm going to be outside, uh, hopefully gardening, if we get it together, which I'm beginning to wonder. But gardening. I'm going to be canning. I'm going to be doing all sorts of things. So cooking is going to take a back seat. Plus, y'all know I've re-entered re -entered the love of quilting. So um, I've got that going on. So cooking is probably going to take, or at least major cooking on the stove top. And then, you know, that type of cooking is going to take a back seat. Plus, it's going to be hot. You don't want to turn the stove on. So, I wanted to pull out the crock pot. I love my crock pot. I have an Instapot. I love it, too. But for meals like this, I still enjoy tremendously the crock pot. So, I've put, we're going to do crock pot meals this week. That's what this week is going to hold, is crock pot meals. We're going to do a couple of dinners. We may do a breakfast, and we may do a dessert all in the crock pot and I'm super excited about this because I love a crock pot meal and it frees me up to do other things so that's what the theme is for this week so happy Monday y'all you're getting we're starting off on crock pot meals and we may make this longer than one week so we'll see we'll see how that goes so, if you have any interesting or would like to see an interesting recipe or would like me to research it or whatever for crock pots, leave it down in the comments below. I'd love to see what you would like, what type of dish you would like to see. So, this is going to be super delicious. I mean, I can already tell. And I've got two things to add into the crock pot before we're done with it. And one thing to just kind of top it off with. So, all right. So, stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. It's going to be delish. Okay, everybody. It has been several hours. And I just took, let me show you what I just took. I just took this meat chopper that you can find them in the dollar store, Walmart. This one is actually a Pampered Chef one. Um, and I just reached down in there. And um, so chopped up the chicken so okay um i'm now going to add in a bag we may do two bags i'm gonna try one first of frozen vegetables i have let them sit out and thaw but let's go over here and we'll add these and then we're going to add one more thing and we're going to leave it for a few more minutes and then i'm going to show you how we're going to serve it up it's not quite supper time, so you're not going to see Bryant in this video. Sorry, guys. Look at this. Can y'all see that? Oh, my goodness. All right. So, let's go ahead and add in our veggies. Oh, that looks so good. Oh, my word, y'all. Now, we're going to send it over the top. 
And this is what I put in my chicken pot pies. Cheese. We're going to put in some cheese. And I'm just going to reach in with a handful. And I'm actually going to just stir that in. And that's going to give it a richness. Now you could use, oh my goodness, you could use cream cheese, anything like that. But I really like to use cheddar cheese in there. So look how beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so good. All right. We're going to put the lid back on. I've got it on low now because it's good and done. Um, I've got it on low. We're going to cook those vegetables and melt that cheese. And I'll bring you back here when we serve it up. I'm going to show you two great ways to serve it. It's going to be delish. Okay, I am not ready to serve the family supper because they're not even here yet. Um, but I thought I'd go ahead so I can get this video out to you and get it taste tested for you. Now, I'm going to serve this up two ways. The first way is if you have a quick dressing recipe or you can make stovetop or whatever like that, um, you can um, use some dressing. I actually had some in the freezer from um, Christmas. So I pulled that out because I'm actually cleaning out my freezer, getting ready to, I'm going to do some chicken broth and can it up. And so I was looking through the freezer to see what I could find and I came across that dressing. But my initial plan was to have a biscuit. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to slide the crock pot over this way and I'm going to get you guys turned down so you can see what we're doing. This is going to be so yummy. I can't wait. Okay. All right. So here I have my dressing. And I'm just going to come in here. Oh, this looks so good. And I'm just going to kind of spoon that over the dressing like that. And here is my biscuit, my lone biscuit I baked up. And I'm just going to, it's still good and hot. Whew. Very hot. I'm going to put the bottom of the biscuit down here and I'm going to do a little scoop and I'm going to do this one much smaller because I can't eat all this by myself and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the top off to the side and we're going to have chicken and biscuits chicken pot biscuits <laughs> so okay let me uh, get everything ready and we will do a taste test since I fixed the dressing one first, we'll give it a taste first. See if it needs anything, like any pepper or anything. And my dressing, I put chicken actually in my dressing, so you'll get, <laughs> if you make my dressing, you'll get a little extra chicken. Mmm. <laughs> That is so good. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. That is so good. Okay. Let's give the chicken and biscuits a try. Got a good old piece of chicken and a big piece of biscuit some gravy mm. either way is delicious the biscuits is probably the easiest oh my goodness this is so it's hard to do stuff when you're working on a saucer oh my word. Yep. This is a keeper. Hey. Mmm. I got more gravy and stuff on this one. <laughs> I'm going back to this one. Y'all, this is good. Okay. So you got to make this. It is so easy. I chopped up a potato, or well, in my case, four small potatoes, but just one large russet. 
chopped up an onion, and then I put frozen chicken breast in there, two cans of, I mean, soups, some broth, and some seasonings, and then at the end, I added frozen vegetables and some cheese. Oh my goodness, it doesn't get any easier, and I didn't have to stand over a stove or anything. Mmm! So good. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Hang on. Let me swallow. So let me just say, if you don't make this, you're missing out. Absolutely missing out. Okay. So thank you guys for joining me, the farming pastor's wife. I appreciate you guys so much for being here. Thank you for joining us on this crock pot theme kickoff. Let me know if you like the theme weeks. It makes it so much easier for me to kind of plan the week when I have a theme in mind. And if you like the theme, kind of give me some other themes to do. So um, this was super great. And we may go longer than a week on a crock pot because I really enjoy cooking on a, in a crock pot. Um, I, like I said, I haven't got the hang of the Instapot other than my boiled eggs and stuff like that. But um, y'all let me know some ideas and let me know if you like this theme week. So, okay, I will see you guys next time right here in my kitchen down on the farm. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.